as you've learned, there's a lot to do before you can get your truck on the road. But when you are on the road, it can be very successful. How to market yourself when you're on the road is a question you need to answer. Social media, that's a no-brainer. But should you do all the promotion yourself or should you get a PR company? And how about the use of Groupons? I use social media, but I, I pretty much run it myself. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I pretty much control the PR form myself. Some of the ways we brought them in was we hammered social media. Uh, Fata's on there every day, uh, lots of pictures on Instagram. You're on Facebook every day, you're tweeting every day, you're making friends with other trucks, and they're retweeting your stuff, you're retweeting their stuff, and you know, really trying to get a broader audience. And uh, also at the beginning, uh, we wanted to highlight our backgrounds and higher, highlight our experience in food, so we made a decision to uh, get a PR company at the beginning to you know, really put our name out there. Um, they blasted it out in the media. Um, so we got a lot of attention from the media at the beginning. We made the Thrill List when we first opened up. We just recently made uh, LAist for uh, top 10 food trucks in LA, uh, which was a great honor. And uh, I, I think they really helped us uh, you know, just get our names out and let the broad, our mainstream media know what we're, you know, what we're doing, what we're all about. Do you think that anybody starting a food truck business now should get a PR firm right from the get-go? I mean, I think it depends, um, but I do, I do think it helps, especially initially. Whether you need to uh, carry on with it after the fact, that's up to you. But I think right at the beginning, you want to get as many, much people's attention as possible. You know, so it, it's good just for the amp up. Uh, for the first two, three months to, uh, I believe, in our experience, to get a PR firm and uh, you know, just really try to get your name out there. Let's talk about social media. Do you use social media? Uh, yes, I do. Social media, I do use social media, and I use it with my Twitter and my Facebook. I've got a following after I did the, uh, the TV show for the Great Food Truck Race. Uh, I started using Twitter and Facebook, and to this day right now, I think I want to say I have like 25,000 followers on my uh, Twitter and Facebook. The reason why I use social media is because people, instead of having to drive all the way down to my restaurant in uh, Redondo, they can meet me at the location where my trucks are going to be at. I actually take a schedule, I put a schedule on my website every day of where the trucks are going to be Monday through Fridays. So you can go actually to RagingCajun.com and look at my schedule and it'll show you where the truck's at lunchtime and then uh, where the truck will be at dinner time. Uh, from someone starting off a food truck business, uh, you do not have a PR firm to help you with your food truck business. There is benefits with having a PR firm with, your, with, the, with the, basically promoting your truck. The social media, like I said, is a, great, it's a great tool to use to promote your business. But if you don't know what you're doing, you need to hire somebody that can promote your business on Twitter, Facebook, on the internet. Social media is very important on a food truck. Um, you have to stay relevant. You have to... I mean, it's a location-based business, like you were getting at, and uh, I mean, people have to constantly know where you're at. It's they have to constantly be thinking about you, and uh, it's it, I mean, it's it's a full-time job just to keep up on the social media in the truck, and I think thankfully Fata takes care of most of the social media in ours. So. And the worst is when you can't get to that location. Yeah, that is the worst. Definitely. I mean, you get, the look, look, look. Ba -ba 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 ba 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 Raging Cajun, where the fuck are you? <laughs> where are you, Raging Cajun? You said you were gonna be here. Uh, truck broke down, sorry. What can you do? Y'all yeah. know these trucks break down like no tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Except for Dan's. Oh no, Dan's Because Dan's got the catalog. He's got yeah. the catalog. <laughs> the catalog does not break down. How do you deal with social media, Dan? Um, I know, but you weren't using it at the beginning. Beginning, we weren't using it because um, we were doing a lot of private events more than we were actually at different lots. So um, a lot of corporate lunches, um, safety meetings, um, you know, lunches for uh, you know the union guys, um, studios. So you, you you know, at the time I didn't needed it because it was the direction of the business that I was moving in, you know, and. Now that you know we expanded and we, we started moving out of that, and I mean we're still doing it, but you know we want more of a street presence. You definitely need social media because you know that's it's like you know um, do or die, right? You know, 
you don't grow with technology, it's going to be tough. Yeah. You guys have a PR firm. Yes, You're the only do. ones that do have a PR firm. How, do you feel you should have a PR firm because you're just beginning? It's, I don't know, it depends. I think it worked mm -hmm. for us. Uh, we wanted to highlight our culinary backgrounds. We wanted to, uh, I mean, that was important to us. It was part of our truck. Um, I mean, we wanted to, you know, people to know that, you know, we were applying what he learned at John George, what I learned at Everest, and, you know, throughout the various kitchens we worked. Um, and we were putting it into a sandwich. We were having fun with it, you know, uh, experimenting with flavors. So, I mean, for us, we thought that was a, a good way, especially initially, just to get that out there, you know, um, get into some foodie events and, you know, just kind of get our name known. I mean, I think if someone does it, it's, it's more for the initial push. It, you know, for everyone, it wouldn't be an ongoing thing, or maybe some people don't even need it. But it's, uh, yeah. I mean, for us and our concept, I think it will, you know, yeah. it was important for us to, you know, set off the bat. No, I do my own. Me and my sister and Mikey that works my truck, they do all the Twittering and Facebooking, so. So you don't think you need a PR, Daniel? Um, uh, uh, PR firms uh, factor into the cost of, you know, uh, my operation. It was too expensive at the time. So you just said in a mouthful again, everything's so costly. You start adding up this, that, this, and that. Yeah. How do you make money? So. For us, for me, it was, you know, something's got to give, and, you know, of course I would love to have a PR firm, you know, uh, but it's, it, it, it does cost a lot of money. So, um, you know, unless you have a buddy who works for a PR firm or somebody who can help you out, give you a good break on the pricing, then that's good. But other than that, no. I, I keep it in the family. Yeah. Marketing and promoting are very important. What about Groupons and other promotions? Let's talk about Groupons. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk about Groupons. Or let's not use Groupons. I will not use Groupons. I no. never, we never. You're desperate when you do that. Hmm. I feel like that's a, that's a, you're desperate when you do that. You do. Because of the loss of money? Yes. You're basically giving your food away for free, if you ask me. With samples, you're giving your, your food away for free. Yeah, well, you know, some I'm giving little, small samples, but look what happens. I give that sample out. It's like putting a worm on a, on the hook. You throw it out there, they take off with it, and what happens? They come right back to the truck. It's like a magnet. They come in right back. So none of you would agree on using Groupons. Um, I mean, I haven't just used never Groupons, look into it. But um, I, I think if I was, if if I first started out, um. I'll factor coupons in as a, a marketing cost. You know, either you're going to pay a PR firm, right, mm -hmm. or you're going to give uh, some sort of samples or whatever you're doing. You know, you're you're, you're going to give up something, right? So, uh, I, I, from what I've seen with coupons, you know, from other businesses that uh, my friends own, they use coupons. It, it works. You know, I just never, um, you know, thought of doing it in the beginning. I'm always kind of weary of those things. I mean, just, it, it reminds me of uh, maybe like restaurant weekend restaurants, you know, when you can get the, the cheaper meal, you know, for, you know, you can go try this restaurant for at restaurant week for $39. And I mean, every place I was at, I was, you know, you know, more of a fine dining concept. And it was, you get people in for that week that are never gonna come back. Mm -hmm. They don't buy any wine, they're not, you know, Thank you, you. You, don't, you don't upsell anything. It's you know the $39 it's meal. True. They eat that week and they never come back. That's so right. it's That's always true. you know you think of the things on the food truck too. You know the same way. So I mean, it, Groupon might work. I don't know. It might work for certain concepts. It's just it's being kind of wary of those things. You know. Only yeah. Starting a food truck. Some of the things you want to look into regulations is contacting your local health department. Every every city, every health department has different regulations, different laws. 